Hi there, and welcome to another edition of In the Cloud. Today, I'm joined by Rob Kim, Chief Technology Officer of Presidio. Rob has been a driving force for greater cloud adoption and social impact at Presidio. Rob, it's wonderful to have you here. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Can you share a little bit about Presidio? Sure. Uh, Presidio is a global digital solutions provider, and we're focused on driving value-based outcomes for our clients through the differentiated use of technology. Essentially, we advise, uh, co-create, deploy, and operationally support any client initiatives to help better utilize data assets. Uh, you know, our, our, our true feeling is that we answer a simple question. You know, how do we give organizations speed of innovation, obviously mm -hmm. through data and applications, while enforcing compliance and protecting their digital assets? And that's really our superpower, right? The, uh, ability to be able to provide a bridge between traditional IT infrastructure governance and developer velocity. Now, you all are doing some amazing innovative work across the U.S., different customers, et cetera. Uh, from that, can you tell a little bit about that work and what problems are you helping solve for our mutual customers? Sure. Uh, and first off, AWS obviously uh, has been an, a great partner of ours uh, throughout this journey. It's, it's a very synergistic relationship that we have. Uh, a lot of questions around data, right? I think that's mm -hmm. been probably the biggest request that we're getting, especially with all of the things that are topical around generative AI and uh, pre-trained uh, transform modalities like text and image, code, and, and video. Uh, because we know that's fundamentally changing the way all organizations are looking at data, right? Uh, right. Especially if you think about it's the true democratization in the use of AI. Uh, so from an AWS perspective, improving AWS builder experiences with what we're doing with Code Whisperer and then leveraging Bedrock and Titan foundational models uh, to the use of realistic and sophisticated uses of chatbots uh, with programmability that we're building in with uh, Amazon Chime and, mm -hmm. and Connect in order to be able to enhance citizen support services. Uh, addressing digital equity, uh, obviously a big one for us, and providing incident response and breach recovery for all of our public sector clients. Uh, specifically in healthcare, uh, it's, it's things around personalized treatment of acute diseases, right? What we're doing around accelerating drug discovery, um, helping optimize longevity, and also improving public health, all being uh, initiatives that are uh, being deployed within cloud uh, as well as AI. Now, the world is changing so rapidly right now. Uh, yeah. What are you hearing from public sector customers, and what are some of the critical technologies and the trends that you all are doing to help address their needs? Yeah, you know, so as much as we talk about innovation and the, 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 re, the demand and request around generative AI and data, the, the reality is the need around the key concerns for tighter security and governance mm -hmm. is big, right? And increasing threats from now much more state-sponsored threat actors, uh, concerns around data exfiltration around generative AI and large language models in general like ChatGPT. Yeah. You know, they are real, they're mounting. And all of this starts with service access, especially as more and more clients are utilizing uh, technology services that are distributed uh, based in cloud. Uh, so securing digital assets and providing mm -hmm. key citizen services is the top priority. Uh, the, the amazing work that our field CISO teams do to help codify a lot of the operational uh, playbooks and policies for services like detection and response and incident preparedness and then working together with our digital business and service solution team, development teams to help programmatically integrate that uh, into cloud deployed services mm -hmm. like AWS Security Lake uh, and hybrid solutions like VMC on AWS are just examples. Uh, and more guidelines that are being enforced, especially if you think about state ramp and certification around that. You know, obviously AWS and, and Presidio working very jointly uh, to ensure that we have contract compliance and assurance. Now, Presidio and AWS uh, share a commitment, and that's to environmental, social, governance policies that are out there. How do you see that we can leverage that technology to promote environmental, social, government initiatives on behalf of our customers? Yeah, I mean, I think the first thing, like anything uh, in our lives, it's about education, right? So several years ago, our uh, chief executive officer, Bob Cagnazzi, founded the Presidio Future Built Scholarship Program, and it awards 
funding for individuals in underrepresented groups who are pursuing higher education in the STEM field. So mm -hmm. science, technology, engineering, and math. Uh, and I'm happy to say that all of the 14 applicants this, uh, this year actually did receive uh, awards. So, and that includes our participating colleges and universities, as well as uh, HBCUs this year. Uh, the second, and we talked a little bit about it before, would be our efforts around digital equity. Mm -hmm. uh, interestingly enough, 50, almost 50% 50 of the U.S. population doesn't have access to broadband. Yeah. And so that's pretty stunning if you think about how important broadband and Internet access is, uh, especially as a result of the pandemic. It went from uh, nice to have, good to have, and shifted much more to a utility, a need to have, right? It's, ne mm -hmm. it's necessary uh, in order for us to be able to educate our citizens and also for uh, preparing them opportunities in the modern workforce. And so we leverage a lot of AWS services like Footprints, mm -hmm. uh, what's available in the AWS Billing Console in terms of carbon impact, as well as AWS uh, Open Data Initiatives, which are just a few examples of how we're working collaboratively together. And then finally, uh, it would be all around diversity and inclusion. We believe strongly that innovation requires creativity. Yep. And that requires ideas that should be coming from a diverse set of experiences. Uh, and so for us, from the things that we're doing around supplier diversity and leadership uh, to diversity hiring initiatives that we're doing with our Presidio Academy programs, similar to AWS, uh, we know that our diversity is what drives our innovation and in turn, the innovation that we're doing for our clients. Rob, thanks so much for the inspiring words. The future is bright, and yeah. thank you for the time. Thank you.